new film is shining a light on attempts to extend and expand the agenda of the international abortion movement to countries in the developing world. Africa's pandemic, a gateway to neocolonialism, explores how amid the COVID-19 pandemic, some Western donors are using this time as an opportunity to push the ideology of legalized abortion under the cover of humanitarian relief. Obiano Anuju Okocha, founder and president of Culture of Life Africa and filmmaker, joins me now. Welcome back. So good to speak with you. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, explain to our viewers exactly how Western donors are using the COVID-19 pandemic to advance a pro-abortion agenda and what exactly are they doing? Right. So obviously since the pandemic uh, this year, uh, it's been very difficult for people to do anything. Most people are at home. People are working from home. We, we can't travel. So pro-life activities, like many other things, have slowed down. Uh, but unbeknownst to, to people around the world, the abortion movement has been very active. They've been doing their work. They've been having meetings. They've been having online events. They have also been getting a lot of money from donors. That money that has been flowing to the abortion movement didn't cease. Instead, in, during this pandemic, Tracy, they have actually had more claims almost to the money because somehow the international community decided that abortion care, quote-unquote care, has also, can also be put into the reproductive health care that they think or they say is very important during the time of the pandemic. So we've seen more activities on the pro-abortion side, but they're also making a lot of bold moves and encroaching into countries where abortion is not even legal. Mm. I know there's a term that you've used in your documentary. You call it humanitarian blackmail. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about that and its specific impact on African nations? Right. I'm also very glad that I came across this term. It came from a friend of mine, Alisa Corin, who was also featured uh, in the documentary. But humanitarian blackmail really captures uh, this thing that usually happens around the international community, around the United Nations, whereby uh, different countries came together at the beginning of uh, towards the beginning of the pandemic and they were discussing things on nutrition and then of course they were talking about the covid pandemic and how to help people especially in the developing world but the uh, european countries and some of the other western countries big donors wealthy nations were trying to push through within this particular uh, conference or meeting uh, a, a way or an excuse to bring abortion to the top of the list of the things that are important. And of course, by the time there was the rejection of that idea, there was a pushback from the United States. Of course, the Trump administration was pushing back against this, this uh, particular attempt. The African countries were speaking up, the Caribbeans were speaking up, the people in the Middle East were speaking up. Uh, and then at the end of the meeting, nothing came out. There was absolutely no resolution. So Instead of the countries to come together, have a consensus, be able to bring out something in order to make life better for people in the developing world, the European countries were ready to block these attempts uh, to, to make things better just because they didn't get their abortion agenda at that particular conference or at that particular meeting. And so there was no document this year at a time when it's most important. This is blackmail. This is humanitarian blackmail. We don't have a lot of time left, but I'm wondering if you can maybe quickly tell us uh, or summarize how big of a problem this is. It is a huge problem. It is a huge problem because millions and millions of dollars have flown into the international abortion mo movement. And for the fact that the, the pro-life movement is not really able to act within this, this period of time, they have made encroachments into African countries like Kenya, Malawi, and even uh, Namibia, where they are trying so hard to get abortion legalized. This is all happening because most people can't really do anything except the abortion movement. They're getting all the funding, they're getting all the attention, and it's, it's, it's such a problem. It is such a problem. Well, we thank you for coming on, and thank you for all that you do. We appreciate it. Obionuju Okocho, founder and president of Culture of Life Africa. Thank you again. Thank you for having me.